Here come the 20s. Are you ready? Let's get into it for the week beginning December 30th, 2019. Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning December 30th, 2019. Happy New Year everyone. We are beginning an entirely new decade, but not just any old decade. It is 2020. This is what the energies have been working up to <laughs> for quite some time. And here we finally are. Now, the first word I'm hearing right now is freedom. Now, if you're just joining me, welcome. Uh, please make sure that everyone subscribes. That helps out a ton. But what I do is I'll do a bit of a mediumship message kind of thing. And then we'll get on to the cards. So stay tuned for that. Please do not leave comments saying the reading starts with cards because... Just don't, okay? The, the whole thing is the, the message, all right? So we are talking freedom. We are talking uh, opening up, yeah, and not having the answers. Yeah, so there's a bit of insecurity that happens here because we don't know where to go from here. It has that kind of feeling, and yet we're at complete peace with it. We're so happy to see the old way go that we're now, yeah, they're saying that was part of the gift from the the previous week where you were given the gift of peace you were given the gift of serenity and i would even dare say understanding a deeper understanding of what it is to be human and what a precious gift that is and how we need to manifest something different <laughs> right we have to start not just accepting that war is inevitable that is not true. We do not need to solve our problems through war. We do not need to honor people who are super intellectual, who act as if they know everything when they know nothing. Okay. They know nothing. And we don't need to give in to their whims and will. And, um, it will be, I'm feeling like a return of people coming into their spirituality. Now this gets tricky because, uh, you know, people really use spirituality to have control over other people uh to be very egotistical with it bragging about how uh, how spiritual they are <laughs> whatever you know doing their thing with that but um this if it's done quietly and with integrity okay this can be a very very promising turning point now time is not linear december 30th 31st going into the first this whole week it doesn't necessarily mean that that's it happens right at midnight on the first <laughs> but you will see a slow turn i think we had a few weeks ago there was the card patience right so we'll see the slow turn we'll see things starting to come about where we don't want to react in the same way so if you are someone who reacts with defensiveness you'll find yourself kind of you know going okay you know th there's that <laughs> whatever uh if you're somebody who reacts with anger and threatening people you know you might want to examine that and ask yourself why do i go from zero to 60 why do i get into that space where i feel like i need to um intimidate yeah that's the word i was waiting to <laughs> i was waiting for the message to come through to intimidate other people okay so this is also a week of rest. So I feel a lot of people just going, okay, you know what? <laughs> Much needed moment. I don't want to keep moving. I don't want to keep. And what I mean by that, yeah, you can, because of the holidays, baby, you want to rest. But this is also about, <sighs> is it too dramatic to say your whole human existence? <laughs> I'm talking like several other dimensions. <gasps> say that again. Archangel Metatron, a crossover of dimensions. Yes, bring it. Oh gosh, that is so fun. Ooh, I love quantum thingies. <laughs> Dimension hopping, time travel, like all that stuff. That's my gig. That is so my gig. I mean, I don't know if I'm a time traveler or whatever, but it sounds cool. Um, an overlay of dim remembering other parts of yourself. Whoa. Okay, 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 that's cool, right? Let's get more, let's get more. <laughs> I love it. Like other aspects of yourself finally coming together. Now, this is not, they're, they're letting me know that this is not going to happen 
all at once, again, overnight, but you'll start to feel like one little part of like some dimensional existence coming in and something you really remembered. Um, and then as time goes on, more and more will start to kind of weave and integrate. I don't know why that's happening. And there are things beyond our understanding as to how this could happen, right? So if there's a scientist watching this, okay, you're just trolling. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe you're into it. I don't know. But, you know, this. I don't think this is going to be scientifically satisfying, <laughs> even if you're a quantum uh, physicist. So, uh, or you, you study all the dimensional energies and maybe do study time travel I don't know but this is a completion a completion I am so excited for this so there will be aspects of yourself that suddenly get woken up don't be surprised now don't don't let the brain get in here and try to like contrive some story I always t I always tell people this I always I say this don't mess it up like that <laughs> right? <laughs> this is a really cool thing that could be happening here for a lot of people. Um, it's also remembering various dimensions of the earth. So we've been saying this for weeks. Whatever Gaia is going through, we're going to be going through. All right. And it's going to come to a lot of people's attention. Like, oh, that whole Gaia thing that wasn't just like the spiritual weirdos just spewing that around to seem special. Oh, my gosh, it's like a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. So we're going to be, can you, can you put that into words and help me out with that? Talk about the column of light. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Metatron, Archangel Metatron, if you don't know, he's thought to oversee the sixth dimension, which I've always understood is to sort of be like mission control. Who knows what the heck all is going on in the sixth dimension? Nobody ever talks about it. <laughs> and they're always kind of like, I have a, a guide that comes from the sixth dimension. His name is Bar Bartholomew. Why can't I say your name? Bartholomew. Um, and Metatron is thought to oversee that. So we have the sacred geometry, which is very associated with Metatron. Um, and also ascension. <laughs> and he says, they don't really have gender. I'm just, for ease of human conversation, he uh, says that this is beyond human comprehension at the moment. But when we start integrating uh, some other aspects of ourselves, then, then we'll start to understand it a little bit more. But um, this is not how you guys like most of us would ever think that this would happen. Okay. Um, it's completely new, unseen, unimagined before. And we are in, we're talking about the column of light here in a minute, but we are vibrating. I'm understanding we're vibrating in many different places at once. And so there could be some crossover. Now, I don't know what that looks like with timing because time isn't linear, but we think of it as linear. So how will we experience that? Okay, take care. Okay, this is where the column of light comes in because you have to remain very grounded in alignment because a lot of people can start. Okay, so it burns out the mind. It burns out the mind. It's because this isn't equipped to handle all of that unless you get into you know incorporating all the energy, uh, in in your ready for the expansiveness if that makes sense so and p.s this is not drug induced no that doesn't count you cheated okay <laughs> yeah you did don't try me yeah you did okay um <laughs> just teasing. so so we're like now wait a minute i had a very holy like shamanic <laughs> journey i'm you know good for you but you still cheated you took a shortcut uh <laughs> but you know like this has this feeling of some people could start to really short circuit in their brains and we might see an uprising in psychosis. So, yeah, careful. So, and schizophrenia. Schizophrenia, because all of the aspects are coming in too much too fast and they're not integrating. Again, I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not licensed to diagnose anybody. This isn't a diagnosis. This is a, this is a discussion. So let's not try to silence people, okay? Um, but if you prepare yourself with the column of light, how many of you, go ahead and comment down below, put a little hand up and be like, me, can she ever start talking about the column of light? So the column of light, 
Metatron, if you meditate and you ask him to bring down the column of light, uh, some people say it's an orange column. I always picture Metatron as being sort of an iridescent, shifting blue purple. Um, but, you know, however you interpret that, that energy, you know, how, whatever color you see is good. Okay. So ask Metatron to bring that column down around you. And it, it has this activation thing that's going on. I don't, you know, again, anything we try to put into human terms, it's not going to do it justice. It's just going to sound like a sci-fi movie, but you don't need to try so hard. You don't need to overthink it. Don't, don't think about it at all. You need to experience it. It needs to be in the heart brain, not, not up here. Okay. Um, but there will be an opening of all the cells kind of thing. Again, I'm putting this into very simplistic terms, <laughs> but uh, this will help you be prepared and not, not get sick over bombarding energies. Now, here's the thing. As crazy as this might all sound, you might be thinking in your head, okay, well, then that means my <laughs> 1937 version, you know, the farmer version of me is going to come in and now I'm going to want to wear farmer's clothes. Look, guys, let's not be silly about it, okay? This is uh, more in awareness and energies integrating. So you might have memories. Uh, you might have flashes, vignettes of things like a montage kind of thing. Um, yeah. I hope I'm explaining this properly because this would be really cool. So is it, sorry to be so human about it, but uh, is there timing on it right at 2020? But January, ooh, oh, <gasps> okay. So, <laughs> hi, I'm getting dramatic over here. <laughs> but like, no, there's like the, the breaking open in January. So again, the integrations, all these little things don't occur all at once. They just start. All right. And so the way that we can be most open to understanding that would be in our dreams. So that might happen there a little bit. Don't be surprised though, if there's going to be more, if you guys ever see like videos where like a car comes out of nowhere or this whole Mandela effect idea, right? There's going to be more of that happening because there's there's all of this integration coming in, right? All these things coming together. <sighs> Worlds overlapping. What you call a time traveler is a dimension hopper. And they're looping. And so what we're about to experience... <laughs> You guys are going to come back to me at the end of 2021 or 22 and you can be like, nothing happened, okay? <laughs> like I said, it's not going to happen uh, like a movie. It's not going to be like playing out in front of you. It's something that is just in your awareness. It's a very internal kind of process, I think. So, but I'm curious to see how this plays out too. But they're, they're saying, this is Metatron and the angels that come with Metatron, uh, that this is like dimension hoppers <laughs> like dimension hoppers and we were saying that there was um a returning of sorts of beings of light to reclaim to lift up to restore us so that we remember who we are because we have forgotten we have been so programmed to think that we are fighting machines you think ai is scary we've always been scary we are the ai you understand me you get me and so it's gone too far. Enough is enough. So all those questions that you've ever had about uh, why do people do this to one another? Why don't we value life? It is because we're kind of robotic. At least that's the feeling I'm getting right here, right now. Now, there are going to be people who are watching this. We're going like, they, they love to do this. The, the only kind of abilities you have are the fake ones or, you know, you need a mental hospital or whatever. Those people who even think that, who even think that, they will probably not be a part of this. Now, that's the feeling I just got. They will be lagging behind. Uh huh. And will they affect everyone else? They come to their own demise and they, they cause unnecessary suffering for themselves. But eventually that will have to be cut away because they can't, it's time. It is time for us to evolve. It is time 
for that that catchphrase tire you know ascension process like <laughs> we've been doing it for so long um it's time it's absolutely time so there are going to be things that some things that are happening that feel very otherworldly um but it, it, it does also have this feeling that what for years people have been trying to put into human terms, what we've been trying to tell a story around, we realize we didn't quite hit the mark. And it might even be about what kind of beings angels are. <laughs> How about that one? Uh, well, the Bible says, bip, bip, bip. good job. That, that was written by men. Okay, fight me. Go ahead, comments. Don't look for alien ships to come it's not about that, guys. We evolve. We, we just need to remember ourselves and wake up from however you want to see this. Wake up from the dream. Wake up from the delusion where, you know, we forget just how powerful our hearts can be. Okay. Let's get on to the cards. I feel like I want to do things a little opposite. So let's do color cards and then I will pull a crystal card. Cool. All right. Crazy messages. I love it. <laughs> Report back if you guys start having any, especially strange sensations, uh, twingy feelings in your body. Metatron is saying this is time, it's time for you to know this, but it, you'll discover, <laughs> you'll discover how wrong you were about everything, man, it's okay, like you, we tried our best, right, so you tried your best, not just me, but like everybody, as we were interpreting messages even from angels, all right, one more, we have... This is like one of the most cosmic looking cards in the entire deck. So this is blue. What does it say? Activate your healing power. The number is 37, nine, time to end the lesson. Job well done. Um, and activating our healing power is by remembering who we are. Now, if you're listening to this and you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to remember I'm a Blu-ray. Yeah, me too. But... <laughs> A little bit, but <laughs> it's not about that. It's not about the label. It's not, we don't have to worry about that. Let's stop trying to find ways to segregate ourselves from other people uh, so that we stand out. Rather, this is remembering our truest nature. And that is where all of our healing power lies. Ruby, rejuvenate your body. The number is eight. So you're going to realize you're an infinite being and you're going to have to look at, look at all this like red root chakra, <laughs> getting grounded, you know, all of this stuff. But this says uh, rejuvenate your body. And really what we're talking about here is letting your body adjust to this new reality. Okay. So again, with that twingy feeling throughout the body, it's really a lot of electricity. What is that right to, right to say? What we would think of as like electrical pulses kind of going through our bodies, but it's really the presence of beings that they're no strangers to us. We are just in a lull right now. We're just under a spell. We're just, it's a spell of our own making, you know? We, we let things happen and then we just said, oh, that's just how it is. Can't change people. <laughs> um, yeah. We start to realize that there is a chance for change. Uh, actually, it's inevitable. There, there is no avoiding it anymore. So again, there's going to be uh, some level of adjustment in our bodies. Pearl, connect to the divine. It's time. The number is 25 which reduces to seven. Now seven talks about the presence of uh, archangels and angels coming to help, to help us remember, you know, again, it doesn't mean we're going to poof off the planet guys. Okay. Let's not look for the drama, <laughs> the drama. Don't look for the drama. Okay. This is saying you can connect into your, you know, your truest self. You're going to remember the divine aspect of yourself. Cool, right? <laughs> we have green, re revitalize your nervous system. The number's 31, reduces to four. So, uh, you know, I, we were saying, why can't I talk? We were saying that people might be short-circuiting a little bit. And you might, they're going to, yeah, they're saying madness. They come into madness. 
And if you start to feel like, oh gosh, I'm feeling a little out of control here, a little out of sorts, a little whatever, whatever, remember to do whatever you need to do to really help your nervous system because it's going to be like overloading an outlet. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? So there is that. And then let's get a crystal card. Go in here. Wild times, I'm telling you. Welcome to the 20s. That should do it about right there. What do we have? Obs excuse me. Black obsidian, the shadow. All right. So black obsidian can keep you grounded. It can absorb negativity. It can be very protective. When we talk about the shadow... This is the part of you that when all of this is encouraging you to grow, uh, you might want to hang on to the old. You might want to, this can also indicate people, we were saying, kind of going into that psychosis where, you know, if we were thinking like, oh my gosh, why is the world going crazy? Well, we start to see a little bit more of it uh, and people acting out and it's because they can't handle if you want to see it as an upgrade, I don't, I don't know if that's exactly what it is, but um, there, there could be more of that, definitely. And people, there could be a lot of people getting terrified, right? And just not understanding what, what they're feeling in their bodies, um, why they feel like there's a lot of different stories. There could be this sense of... Um, I'm needed somewhere and I'm not on time. You start having dreams where you're late to everything and you're really nervous about it, uh, especially train dreams. If you start having dreams where you're on a train and you don't know what stop to get off at, you know, these kinds of things, or you meet yourself, another aspect of you within your dream state, okay? As I give these messages, I'm not trying to encourage woo-woo thinking, ungrounded, unaligned, uh, feeding into a fantasy. So it's a form of escapism just because it's interesting to some people. Maybe I'm not encouraging that. What I'm saying is something's going on here and it needs our attention and it's happening. And we need to remember, we need to remember who we are. And we're going to get that chance, it seems. And it seems that we have it. We had a chance to do it on our own. We didn't. There's help coming. Um, because we were they're showing me that we were falling deeper and deeper into the sleep. So people from God knows when are like, I had a spiritual awakening. Blah, blah. Well, you failed. <laughs> I failed. Everybody failed, apparently. Uh, and we're having some help coming along. So the egos just got too big, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. We will definitely have to see... Uh, how this plays out, how each of us experiences it. I'm not really sure what's going to happen there, but don't be shocked when when the shadow comes out, the shadow aspects, because people are not going to go gently into a new way. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and happy new year. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.